Join Kids Hat Family. Tia, I can't reach that book. Can you please help me? Oh no! Ouch! Haha! <laughs> oh tofu, I am so sorry. It's okay. What is this book about, Tia? It's about the seven continents. But what are continents? Well, continents are solid areas of massive land masses. The earth has seven such continents, from largest to smallest in size. Starting from Asia being the largest continent, then comes Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe and the smallest being Australia. Oh wow! Tell me more about this, Tia. The Seven Continents Let's start with Asia. It's the largest and the most populous continent. Asia has more than 4 billion people residing. The Asian continent is surrounded by the Pacific Ocean, the Indian Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. That's huge, isn't it? Can you guess the number of countries present in Asia? Um, 12? No. Asia consists of 48 countries. Can you believe that? Whoa, that's awesome! And what are those? That's the Himalayas. They are the world's highest mountain peaks. Wow, since Asia has such a large population, there must be various languages being spoken. Yes, Tofu. There are around hundreds of languages being spoken. And Tia, I read somewhere that India has 30 official languages. That's right, Tofu. You're pretty smart. Oh, thanks, Tia. What about the next continent? It's Africa, the second largest and the second most populous continent. It has around 54 countries. The African continent is surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea. Can you name the largest country in Africa? Mm, no, Tia. Can you please tell me? The largest country in Africa is Algeria. And you know what? Africa has the longest river in the world. It's the River Nile. The African continent also consists of the largest hot desert. It's the Sahara Desert in Northern Africa. Wow! Africans must be proud of having the longest river and the largest hot desert in the country. Yes, Tofu. Next comes North America, the third largest continent in the world. North America has 23 countries and is surrounded by the Pacific, the Atlantic and the Arctic Ocean. Isn't USA in North America? Yes, Tofu. USA is the richest country and Mexico is the most populous. Next comes South America. It is bordered by the Pacific Ocean to the west and the Atlantic Ocean to the east. South America has 12 countries. Wow! What is the next continent, Tia? Next comes Antarctica. It is a continent covered with ice and is bordered by the Southern Ocean. It is the least populated continent and has a windy and a dry weather. There aren't any permanent residents on this island. Amazing! I watched a cartoon that showed penguins living in Antarctica. Is it true? Yes, Tofu. Antarctica is a home to many species of penguins. They survive on ice. Next comes the European continent. It is the world's third most populous continent with 50 countries. Russia being the largest country in Europe and the Vatican City being the smallest country in the world. Wow! 
50 countries. Yes, Tofu. Europe has 50 countries. And finally, the smallest continent is Australia. The main cities in Australia are Melbourne, Sydney, Darwin, Brisbane and Canberra. Aren't kangaroos found in Australia? That's right, Tofu. Kangaroos and koalas are the most well-known Australian animals. And that's a wrap with all the information that I've given you today. We just covered the seven continents of the world. Thank you for all the information, Tia. I absolutely enjoyed it. The Underwater Thrill Tia, come! Have a look! What is this? This toy looks unique. That's a submarine, Tofu. A submarine? Yes, Tofu. It's a type of ship, but it can travel underwater as well as on the surface of water. Really? A ship that can travel underwater? Yes, Tofu. Do you want to buy it? I would love to. Thank you so much, Tia. I still can't believe, Tia. A ship that can travel underwater? How amazing that would be. Yes, Tofu. Experiencing underwater life with that silence. Ah, what a peaceful scenario. Vroom, vroom, mind your way, Mr. Shark. I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Come on, Tofu. Let's have lunch. Tia, can I ride a real submarine? Hmm... I know someone who can help us get a ride, but are you sure you're ready for it? Tia, I am 100% sure. Please, can we go? Please? Okay, okay. I have a friend who is studying marine science. Maybe she can help. What is marine science? It is a scientific study of the ocean. Whoa, that sounds interesting. Can you talk to your friend? Maybe she can help us get inside a submarine? Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Captain, we have good news. We are going, aren't we? Yes, we are going tomorrow morning. Be up by 7 a.m. Thank you, Tia. You are the best. Hi guys, so are you all ready? Yes, Kim. Let's go. Awesome. Welcome on board. Wow, this is enormous, isn't it, Tofu? I am loving this. Come on, take your seats. We're about to start. How does this work? In order to travel down, the tank takes in water till it's full. The water weighs it down and hence we are able to sink to the bottom of the ocean bed. Once it's underwater, the propeller makes it move. The hydroplanes are used to steer it up and down. The rudder steers the submarine to the left or right. There are computers installed to navigate. There is a periscope at the top of the submarine that can help us see above the surface. But when it's underwater, it depends upon the sonar sound. It sends out a signal that bounces back to help us know what's there around. Can we please go up? I'm scared. It's so silent and dark here. Tofu, take a deep breath and look around. It's so beautiful. Wow, this actually is so peaceful. What is this? It's a coral reef. It's like a little home for the fish. That's beautiful. Oh look, 
Isn't that a jellyfish? Yes, that's a jellyfish. Do you know it glows in the dark? This is so beautiful. Oh, I see an octopus. And look, that's a shark. <gasps> it's so scary. It's okay, Tofu. We are safe inside. Look at those tiny fish. These are clownfish. Oh, look there. That's a zebra fish. Look, a fish with a horn. That's a swordfish. Wow, these are so beautiful. Definitely they are. Now it's time to go up, shall we? Yes, let's go. But how do we go up? Aren't the tanks filled with water? The tanks push the water out and we rise back to the surface. And here we are. Ah, the sun. Here we are. So, how was your underwater experience, Tofu? I loved it. I can go a hundred times more. Sure, definitely we can go. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. It was my pleasure. I hope to see you again soon. It was so cool, Tia. I'm glad you loved it, Tofu. And you got to learn so much. Thank you for this amazing day. Yes, I learned so much today. I am thinking of making something. Really? What is it? I will draw a submarine and label its parts so that I remember. I will show it to my teacher and friends. They will be so happy. That's a great idea, Tofu. Here's the good old submarine. Isn't it amazing how this huge machine works? Tia, I didn't score good marks in the finals this time. It's okay, Tofu. Ups and downs are a part of life. You can try and do better next time. Come on, let's have some food. I'm not hungry. Tofu, come on, have some food. I've cooked yummy pasta for you. I'm fine, Tia. I don't feel like eating anything. Okay, no problem. Do you want to listen to a little story about adversity? But what does adversity mean? Adversity means a difficult situation. Okay, I got it. Tell me the story, please. When adversity knocks. Once upon a time, there lived a little girl named Lexi. She once failed an exam and was very stressed out with the situation. So she went to her father and told him everything that she was feeling. Father, father, I failed my exam. I feel so useless. I couldn't even pass a simple test. I am such a loser. It's okay, my child. It's life. Come on, let me show you something. And so, her father took Lexi to the kitchen. He took three vessels with boiling water. He asked Lexi to put an egg, a potato and some tea leaves in different vessels. She did as her father had asked. Why are we doing this, father? You will see in a while, dear. Let's wait. Keep an eye on the vessels for about 10 to 15 minutes as the contents boil. Okay, as you say. Lexi waited for about 10 to 15 minutes for the contents in the vessels to boil. After a while, her father asked Lexi to peel the egg, the potato and to strain the tea leaves. So Lexi took out the contents and started doing as her father advised her to do. Father, are you trying to explain me something? 
I feel so confused doing all this. Yes, Lexi. What I'm trying to explain here is that all the three items were put in the same situation. That is boiling water. But you see how different items responded differently? The egg was soft, but now it's hard. The potato was hard, but now it's soft. The tea leaves changed the color and taste of the water itself. We all are like one of these items. When adversity calls, we respond in the same manner as these items have. Now you decide, are you an egg, a potato or tea leaves? Hmm, I get it now. Thank you for making me understand, father. Wow, dear. I loved how Lexi's father explained her the situation. Yes, Tofu. It depends upon us how we decide to respond to a difficult situation. We must never ever give up. Hi, I have lost my phone and cannot reach my parents. Can you please help me make a call home? Yes, sure. I can take you to the theatre manager. He will have a phone. Thank you. Tia, what are you doing? We will miss the start of the movie. We don't even know this boy. You never know how important a glass of milk might be, Tofu. What? What are you talking about, Tia? What glass of milk? You'll know in a minute. Glass of milk. Once upon a time, there lived a young boy who was very poor. He did odd jobs to be able to buy his daily food and go to school. One day, after school, the boy was very hungry. I don't have money today and I have no job lined up till the night. How will I make it through the day? Maybe... I should just have some water to fill my stomach. So the boy decided to ask one of the houses in the neighborhood for a glass of water. He knocked on the first door. A young girl opened the door. I am very thirsty. Can you please give me a glass of water? Yes, wait a minute. The girl saw the boy's condition and understood how hungry he was. Instead of a glass of water, she brought him a glass of milk. The boy was surprised to see the milk. I cannot take this. I do not have any money to pay you for it. It's okay. You don't have to pay me for it. Thank you very much. The boy drank the glass of milk and felt better immediately. He thanked her and went his way. Many years went by. One day, the girl who was now a woman fell very ill. She was taken to the hospital. The tests revealed that she had a rare kind of sickness that would need great care for many months. Dr. Philip was assigned to her case. Don't worry, we will take care of you. Thank you. As he had promised, Dr. Philip took great care of her. He visited her daily stayed by her bedside at night 
and made sure she was always comfortable. After six months of intensive treatment in the hospital, the girl was finally well and could go home. But she had a worry. She called the nurse to her room. I am healthy now, but I am worried. It is time for me to pay the hospital bill, but I am afraid I won't have enough money to do so. Oh, you don't need to worry about it. Your bill has already been paid. What? By whom? Have a look yourself. The girl was astonished. The bill was cancelled across. And in big bold letters it said, Paid in full years ago with a glass of milk. It was signed by Dr. Phillips. The girl couldn't believe her luck. Dr. Phillips was the young boy she had helped many, many years ago. Today he had become her saviour and helper. You never know how your one good deed can turn into another good one, Tofu. So never hesitate from helping others. Thanks, dear. I will always remember this now. Gratitude Celebrating Life's Blessings Hey guys, I just read this amazing book about gratitude. Gratitude? What's that? Yeah, Tia. Tell us more. Gratitude is about feeling thankful and appreciative for the good things in our lives, big or small. It's like saying thank you to the world. I get it. But why is gratitude important? Great question, Bill. Gratitude makes us feel happier and more content. It helps us focus on the positive things instead of always wanting more. So, how can we practice gratitude? Yeah, give us some tips, dear. Sure, come with me to the stationery shop across the street. We need to pick a few things first. One way is to keep a gratitude journal. Every day, we can write down three things we are grateful for. You can write those things down in the notebooks now. That sounds fun. I'm grateful for my family and my pet dog, Max. I'm thankful for my friends, the beautiful flowers in my garden and ice cream. I am grateful for my parents, my favourite toy and my school. Those are wonderful things to be grateful for. Another tip is to say thank you more often. It shows appreciation to others. Thank you tall trees for giving us shade on this sunny day. Thank you birds for singing such lovely songs. Thank you playground for letting us have so much fun. See, it's easy to be thankful, isn't it? That's right, Tia. Let's make a gratitude jar. We can write down things we're grateful for and read them aloud whenever we're feeling down. That's a fantastic idea. It'll remind us of all the good things in our lives. Yay! That would be awesome. This is a very good idea, boys. I'm grateful for the special jar we made together. <laughs> I'm grateful for our wonderful friendship. I'm grateful for all of you. And I'm grateful for this day filled with laughter and learning. Exploring Days of the Week Hi everyone, I'm Tofu. 
and I'm Tia. Are you ready for a super exciting adventure with us? Today we're going to explore the days of the week. Hey Tia, what are the days of the week? Great question, Tofu. The days of the week help us to know what day it is. There are seven days in a week, and each day has a special name. Wow, that's a lot. Can you tell us the names, Tia? Sure thing. Let's start with the first one. Sunday is the day when we can relax and have fun. Right, because it's like a sunny day. Exactly, Tofu. Next up is Monday, the day when we start a new week. Monday is like a fresh beginning. You got it. Tuesday comes after Monday. Tuesday sounds like a happy day. It surely is. Wednesday is the middle of the week. Wednesday like a hump day. Exactly. Then comes Thursday. Thursday, a thoughtful day. Nice guess, Tofu. Friday follows Thursday. Friday, time to have some fun. It's the weekend. Absolutely. And finally, Saturday is the last day. Saturday, a super exciting day. Now let's play a guessing game. Can you guess which day of the week comes after Tuesday? Hmm, Wednesday. You got it. And what's the day before Sunday? Saturday. Great job, Tofu. Now let's repeat the days of the week together. Are you guys ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday. Great job, my little friends. the peanut butter oh oh no oh tofu hi good morning it's definitely not a good morning for me oh i see i'm sorry i was just trying to cook something for myself well it's okay we must learn to cook for ourselves it is very important yes dear i think so too i want to learn how to cook well then, let's put the TV on. It's Chef Charlie time. Chef Charlie? The Cooking Adventure Welcome to our fun-filled cooking adventure. I am Chef Charlie and today we're going to learn some delicious recipes that you can cook all by yourself. Are you ready to become amazing little cooks? Let's get started. Our first recipe is super pancakes. It's super easy and you love making and flipping pancakes. Let's get mixing, Chef Charlie. Step 1. In a bowl, add some flour, a pinch of salt and a dash of sugar. Crackers in 1 or 2. Great job! Now, add some milk and whisk everything together until it's smooth. Now it's time to flip the pancakes. Hold the pan and flip them gently. Remember, be careful! Flip, flip, flip! flip. Fantastic flips! Now it's time to add some yummy toppings like fruits, and a drizzle of maple syrup. Yay! Next up is mini wedgie pizzas. You can create your own tasty pizzas with your favorite toppings. 
Stop me first, Chef Charlie. Ha <laughs> ha, sure thing. Step 1. Spread tomato sauce on the pizza dough. And don't forget the cheese. Of course, sprinkle some cheese on top. Now, it's time to add your favorite veggies like bell peppers, mushrooms and tomatoes. We love toppings. Great! Now let's pop them into the oven. And wait for them to cook. I'm hot! Be careful! Oh, that smells so delicious! Our final recipe is a fruity yogurt parfait. It's a refreshing and healthy treat. We're ready to be layered, Chef Charlie. Step 1. In a cup, layer some yogurt with your favorite fruits like berries and sliced bananas. We're juicy and sweet. Oh, banana na na. Keep layering until you reach the top. You can add granola too for some crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. And there you have it, a colourful and delightful fruity yoghurt parfait. There you go little chefs, I hope you enjoyed learning the recipes. Now you can cook them all by yourself any time you want. Remember, Cooking is not only fun but also a wonderful way to explore new flavours and share yummy treats with your loved ones. Keep exploring, keep cooking and most importantly have lots of fun in the kitchen. So what are you cooking next kids? Wow Tia, the recipes looked so easy and delicious. I want to make them right now and eat it all. <laughs> so do I, Tia. Let's get cooking. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.